ओके सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर नंबर थ्री द डेजर्ट मैनी पीपल हु लिव इन एरियाज सराउंडेड बाय फॉरेस्ट एंड हिल्स बिलीव डेजर्ट्स टू बी अ वास्ट एरियाज ऑफ सैंड वेयर नो रेन फॉल्स एंड देयर फॉर इट इज हॉट एंड ड्राई इन विच सरकमटांसिस देर इज हार्डली एनी वेजिटेशन टू बी फाउंड इन सच एरियाज हाउ एवर द डेफिनेशन इज नॉट इंटायरली करेक्ट पीपल हु क्लोजली स्टडी कैन फाइंड डेजर्ट टू बी अ ब्यूटिफुल प्लेस एंड इज अ होम टू अ वेराइटी ऑफ पीपल हु लिव अंडर हॉट एंड ड्राई कंडीशंस इन अ डेजर्ट द ग्राउंड इज हार्डली एवर कवर्ड विद ग्रास plants or trees rains in the deserts are also rare but whenever it does rain the desert flowers bloom and the desert looks no less than a tropical garden at times the flat unchanging wasteland of dry sand gives way to mountains and hills it may have an oasis an oasis is a small patch of green island with a well of water allowing the plants and trees to grow better a desert may be hot like the desert or cold like ladakh but usually it is believed that any place that has little or no water and vegetation is called a desert There are some deserts which have absolutely no water. In such places strong winds blow and raise sands in mounds. Such sand mountains are called sand dunes. These sand dunes keep moving and shifting in the forest. Plants however can hardly sustain themselves in such weather. living things are dependent on water for their sustenance therefore very few plants and animals are found in a desert the few that are to be found have adapted themselves to the condition in desert they have developed an ability to require less water for their existence camel the ship of the desert can do without water for several days this is possible because camels can drink a lot of water in one go and they lose very little water as they hardly sweat humans are required to constantly sweat in high temperature in order to maintain their body temperature the smaller desert animals only come out of their burrows during night and avoid the heat during the day most of them either eat other animals or plants and meet their minimum water requirement from the moisture present in the meat and the plant juices respectively desert plants too likewise adapt themselves to the desert climate cactus for instance can store water in its thick thick stems In humid climate the moisture in the atmosphere causes a protective blanket on the earth in desert this protective blanket is not there because of occasional rains therefore the desert heat up rapidly during the day and cool off rapidly during the night however despite the harshness of the climate the deserts are important part of nature okay so after the summary we'll move to the question the first comparison check so the comprehension check one is from the first paragraph pick out two phases which describe the desert as most people believe it answer is the popular belief is that it is an endless stretch of sand 
where no rain falls and therefore no vegetation grows i repeat the answer the popular belief is that it is an endless stretch of sand where no rain falls and therefore no vegetation grows second pick out two phrases which describe the desert as specialists see it the desert can be beautiful place it is the home of variety of people animals and plants that have learned to live under very hot and dry conditions the description of the desert has been given by specialist the popular belief is based on hearsay which do you think is an apt description and why people may have or have not been to the desert and studied its climate occurrence before having formed this opinion the specialist on the other hand have looked at the entire ecology in the desert before starting their beliefs so i repeat the answer the desert can be a beautiful place it is the home of a variety of people animals and plants that have learned to live under very hot and dry conditions the apt description of the desert has been given by the specialists the popular belief is based on hearsay people may have or have not been to the desert and studied its climate occurrences before having formed this opinion the specialist on the other hand have looked at the entire ecology in the desert before stating their beliefs second the phrases on the left in the following box occur in the text match each of them with a phrase on the right an endless stretch of sand and the correct answer is nothing but sand as far as one can see second waterless and without shelter the answer is no water and no shade third an oasis answer fertile place with water and plants in a desert fourth hidden by a cover of grass answer not visible because the grass is thick now we move to the second comprehension check first a camel can do without water for days together what is the reason given in the text answer as per the text a camel can survive without water for several days because it does not sweat much unlike humans a camel does not need to regulate its body temperature through sweating therefore it loses less water also the camel can consume a greater quantity of water in a go i repeat the answer as per the text a camel can survive without water for several days because it does not sweat much unlike humans a camel does not need to regulate its body temperature through sweating therefore it loses less water also the camel can consume a greater quantity of water in a go second question how do the smaller desert animals fulfill their need for water answer the smaller desert animal remain in their burrows during the day thereby they avoid the exposure to heat which could result in loss of water furthermore they consume other animals or plants and the moisture from meat and plant juices respectively supplements their need for water i repeat the answer the smaller desert animals remain in their burrows during the day thereby they avoid the exposure to heat which could result in loss of water furthermore they consume other animals or plants and the moisture from meat and plant juices respectively supplements their need for water 
Third, in a desert, the temperature rises during the day and falls rapidly at night. Why? Answer. In a desert, the temperature rises during the day and falls rapidly at night because of the absence of moisture in the air. The moisture in the air usually acts as a protective blanket and protects the earth. However, in the desert, this is not the case. Therefore, the rapid rise and fall in the temperature. I repeat the answer. In a desert, the temperature rises during the day and falls rapidly at night because of the absence of moisture in the air. The moisture in the air usually acts as a protective blanket and protects the earth. However, in the desert, this is not the case. Therefore, the rapid rise and fall in the temperature. Now we move to the exercise. This is something which you need to do yourself and we will complete the chapter 3 here. We will be discussing about next chapter in our next video. Thank you.